we will look at the future of classical music. Congratulations. As I said, my first work, beyond my understanding. The name of the winner is Countries that are connected by something besides Visegrad. The future of classical music. The Czech Republic, Poland, Hungary, and Slovakia joined by Serbia will all bring their most talented young musicians to compete with each other. I'm your fan. All five countries have selected their most virtuosic classical musicians to create something extraordinary here in Budapest. World-class stars in the panel of judges. It was really unbelievable. And on stage. The hosts, Ida Nowakowska, the queen of Polish television shows. And Tomasz Gocciak, the world famous German television icon. You like it, that was cool, huh? Yes! A truly extraordinary talent show full of entertaining, virtuosic, and unforgettable moments. Amira, you made me cry a lot. You were truly magical. A show where even the youngest contestants will amaze you. You play with it, you're like a painter. Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus. We play the same language. Am I talented? This is the semi-final of the Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus competition. On stage, the two hosts, Ida Novakovska and Tomasz Gocciak. Good evening, everyone who is watching from the five different counties. We are broadcasting today to Hungary, Poland, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, and Serbia. These are five different languages and I'm speaking none of them. So we will try to communicate in a language everybody will understand, music. And in a very special way because this music is presented by very young artists. Exactly. Couldn't have said it better, Thomas. Of course, today we will communicate in English. Virtuoso's V4 Plus is a classical music talent competition. As Thomas said, we play the same language. That means we introduce the most talented young musicians of the Visegrad four countries and Serbia. 
Although we all hope that it will be a worldwide classical talent show in the future. Now the time has come for the four selected young musicians of each country to reveal their talents for you as well as the international jury with members from five different countries. This is actually a very talented, competent and artistic jury. Please get to know them. Erika Miklosa is a Hungarian operatic singer, soloist at the Hungarian State Opera House, regular performer at the most prestigious operas of the world, and a judge in the Virtuosos talent show. A very good chance to, to build a bridge uh, between the people and, and between the classical music. Nemanja Radulovic is a Serbian violinist and honorary doctor at the University of Arts in Serbia, whose most important mission is to show how the boundaries of classical music can be expanded. I think it's very important to, um, to give the support to, uh, to young people, and especially uh, for the classic music that I like the most. Gabriela Bohachova is the founder of the Czech Art News Agency and the organizer of many international classical music events, including concerts for Placido Domingo. I like this show a lot. I knew about this show before, and I think it has incredible mission. It helps to discover young talents. It gives them support, but it also brings uh, classical music to a bigger audience. Peter Valentovic is a Slovakian pianist and conductor who has performed in roughly 20 countries, including South Africa where he was the choir master and resident conductor of the Cape Town Opera. It's wonderful that we have so many nice talents and they have possibility to present them themselves in such a great show. Alicia Wegorzewska is a Polish opera singer and the managing and art director of the Warsaw Chamber Opera, who has performed in the most famous opera houses of the world. It's like honey on my soul because I can see that classical uh, music has a future. Thomas, I'm thinking we have an amazing jury here, but there is one seat missing. Absolutely, the seat of the super judge. In each of the two semifinals, two contestants will perform from each country, and only one of the two from that country will advance into the final. The judge from the contestant's home country will make this decision with, of course, taking into account the opinions of the other judges and also that of the super judge. Please welcome Gabriel Prokofiev. Of course, the Prokofiev name. <laughs> Everybody says, oh, how is Sergei doing? He was a grandfather. And how often did you have to listen to <laughs> Peter and the Wolf? Well, the, the same as most children, I think, probably like the children here, it really introduced me to the classical instruments and the orchestra. So I, I grew up with his music. I love his music. He's a big inspiration for me. As, as, as we're going to explore today, we have to keep classical music young and vibrant and connected to the real world yes. rather than in yes. a museum and I'm the right combination. I was already alive when your granddad was still alive, and I'm still alive while you were having a big career. You are a, you are a bridge then. You, you're I'm connecting the me I'm and my grandfather. Thank and you, you are the super judge, and this is your chair. Great. Enjoy the show. Thank Please, you. take your okay. seat. We welcome you. And those who will help the children speak the language of music are the members of the Budafog Dohnani Orchestra, conducted by Gavor Holeron. Welcome. We have one more important thing to do before we can start the show. It is to explain the rules of the Virtuoso Visegrad 4 Plus competition and also to understand what's at stake in this competition. So let's see what prizes are waiting for the best ones. The Virtuoso's V4 Plus show is comprised of four parts. Two semifinals, a master class, and a super final. Each of the two semifinals will feature two contestants from each country. After consulting the other judges as well as the super judge, each judge decides which of the two contestants from their own country should go on to the next round. This means that two contestants from each semifinal will go on to the master class. Here, the judges will not make a decision. They will only give advice to the contestants. In the super final, both contestants will perform on stage once again. 
Finally, based on their performance up until then, the winners of the Virtuoso's V4 Plus Classical Music Talent Show will be announced, one from each country. These five young talents will get a chance to record their own album, and they will be given 15,000 euros each. So let the show begin. Unfortunately, I've lost my beautiful partner, Ida, but she's not far from here. She will do a very important work behind the scenes. Are you ready, Ida? Yes, Thomas, I'm very ready. Uh, I love being on stage with you, but here, this is a magical place when me and the contestants have this last moment together, and we can see right now our first amazing, beautiful lady from Hungary. My name is Malzarella, I'm 11, and I started playing the cello at the age of five. Those bass notes are beautiful, the way they resonate within my body. I really enjoy playing those low notes. My first doll was Bobby. Then I got Jofi, Lilla, and Boggy. It surprises a lot of people, they say, what? She's 11 and still playing with dolls. But I think if I want to be a mother in the future, it's important that you can put clothes on your baby, push her pram around, things like that. I really like doing yoga. My mother used to do yoga and I really like the movement, so I started it too. My biggest dream is when I grow up, I can play as a solo cellist in a famous concert hall accompanied by an orchestra. How are you feeling? I feel great. I can't wait to step on stage and play with the orchestra. I can't wait to see you on stage. Of course, we have also your mom here, Anna, who is supporting you. On stage, Schmatzel Ella from Hungary. That was beautiful. You deserve more applause, but this is all we have. How old are you? I'm 11. 11 years old, and you play like, like a 15-year-old. It's incredible. It, is it different to play your cello at home alone for you or to play with this beautiful orchestra? The difference is this way I just feel great because all the people here are taking care of me and it was so good to hear how beautiful it sounds. Let's talk 
to Nemanja because I saw him play the violin. And uh, do you think a guy who plays the violin understands something about a cello? I think so. Nemanja, she believes in you. What did you think? Actually, I played the cello too, but I stopped. <laughs> ah. I really enjoyed the difference, um, musically speaking, between the parts where you were much more energetic and especially the parts where you just sang with your um, cello. And uh, it was really beautiful. Bravo. You have a fantastic personality and great sensitivity. It's strange to see such a small girl with the soul and the person of a grown-up, mature woman. I absolutely love you. I am happy that your dream has come true. You were able to play with an orchestra here in Virtuosos. Congratulations, I love you. So, Gabriel? I really enjoyed your confidence, which was really enjoyable to watch. You know, we felt very at home with you and how you this particular, this run when you went up to the harmonic, just, that was class, that was really beautiful. So I, I really enjoyed it and thank you. You look so happy. Are you happy with yourself? Because like sometimes you think, oh, I could have done better or I, I really like what I did. So are you happy with yourself today? I think I can say that I never completely satisfied because I can always do better, but yes. This time I'm happy. Ella, thank you very much. I think you can be very happy and very confident. It was great that you played for us and we really liked what you did. Thank you very much, Ella. All of the judges gave me very positive feedback. It felt really good. And now that my performance is over, I'm relieved and I can't wait for the result. Ella, come here to us. Oh. You were so amazing. I was holding her the whole time. Okay, I can hold, hug you through her. Let's see the next contestant, who is a 13-year-old excellent pianist from Poland, Michal Korzen, who loves taking pictures of birds if he's not playing piano. It's either or. Have fun. My name is Michal Kozien. I'm 13 years old. I was born in a family of musicians, so music has always played a role in my life. In my hometown, Katowice, Poland, we live near the zoo. I have loved animals ever since my early childhood, especially birds. Recently, I've started taking photos of them. I love classical music, but I think I'd rather be a jazz musician in the future. You need more of the left hand. Yes, you are yes. a natural-born performer. You'll be great. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Thank you. On stage. Michał Kozien from Poland. Wow, that was great. It's Chopin, right? But Chopin, it's a Polish guy, and you are a Polish guy too. 
Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Socks. What is this? Is ah. So you're a funny guy too. A lot of people think if somebody 13 years old plays piano four hours per day, he must be a serious guy. But serious guys don't wear socks like this. I think that anyone can wear socks like these because they are beautiful. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so this is a very special audience and they are very critical, but I'm sure they like what you did. Uh, so let's start with Peter. He's conducting the big orchestras, but he plays piano too. So how did you like it? I like it very much. It was very nice to hear. And I would like to ask you, what does it actually mean, Ecosses? Do you know? Yes, it's a Scottish dance. Very that is right. Bravo. And I would like to ask you another question. You have mentioned that you play jazz. So I would like to ask you, which kind of jazz, which composers do you like to play? I play various jazz standards from several composers, but I think I like Herbie Hancock the most. You know, before we keep talking, just give us a minute of jazz piano. Okay. We don't care about what they want. Okay, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, Michal. So let's talk to the DJ, Gabriel. How did you like it? That was cool, huh? Right, right, right. Michal, you, you've got a, just such solid rhythm. You're just so locked on the beat. It's really great, really, really good stuff. And I, I just love the energy also in the Chopin as well. You, you, you have a kind of, uh, I, think you, I think you enjoy strong rhythms and, and the, the energy you get from a rhythm. And I, I really felt that. So yeah, good stuff. Alicia, from Polish to Polish. Michal. I'm so happy to see you here tonight. You know, to me, you are already a fully-fledged artist. You already have extraordinary creative powers, whether we are talking about music or your socks. I'm glad that soon you will make not only Polish audiences happy with your music, but probably the entire world. I wish you the best, and I'd be happy to see you in the Chamber Opera. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you very much. Please. When he asked me to play jazz, I was very happy that I can play this music that I like so much. In front of the judges and everyone else listening. Michal, come here. You were simply ingenious. Come, sit here for a moment. Whose comments made you feel the best? I think it was the feedback I got from Alicia Wegorzewska Wiskard. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you, and I'm so proud that our Polish Chopin player, Jasmine, has made such an impressive debut here. Besides classical music and his musical instrument, our next contestant loves books and you will definitely love his performance. Please meet the 15-year-old Jan Woboril from the Czech Republic. I'm Jan Woboril from Prague, the Czech Republic. I'm 15 years old. I play the French horn. My father is also a horn player and I liked it. So I wanted to try it and I'm still playing. When I'm not playing my horn, I usually play basketball, mostly in the garden in front of our house. I like it a lot. I love reading, especially crime stories, Sherlock Holmes, Poirot, and so on. This has to do with the fact that my mother is a bookseller, so we have many books at home, and I love them, and I love reading them. I feel honored to have the chance to compete in a show like Virtuoso's. It doesn't happen every day, so I'm very happy. I want to make it to the final so I can play some further pieces from the horn repertoire of Czech composers. 
As a Czech, this would be a great honor for me, just like playing with an orchestra. On stage, Jan Voboril from the Czech Republic. was a piece everybody who is listening may like, but these are the important people. Let me ask you some questions first. Jan, you are 15. How long do you play that instrument? I've been playing the horn for five and a half years. In the beginning, did it sound terrible or a guy like you plays it wonderful from the beginning? At the beginning, I'm sure listening to me must have been painful for the people around me. But I liked it, so I kept practicing. And I hope that one day people would be able to tolerate the way I play. Peter, you heard that. I hope that didn't hurt him uh, by saying he is uh, on his own while he's playing. But you're still <laughs> no, of a great conductor. What do you think about his uh, performance? I liked it very much what you did, of course. It's a very difficult concerto. I liked your dynamics, what you did, like the echoes and stuff. It was very interesting and uh, I congratulate you because in this age to play such a very difficult piece with technical abilities you have, congratulations. I'm amazed by your talent. Thank you very much. Gabriela? Jan, I just want to say that this piece is very demanding technically, but the way you performed, it was excellent. You have an extraordinary sense of music. I read in your CV that you also compose pieces. Is that true? Yes, it is. Have you written anything for horn? Mostly duos. That's what we usually play in master classes with my father. But I'm not quite satisfied yet, so I keep on writing music and I hope my compositions will improve. Yeah, thank you and all the thank luck. Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you. Our amazing talents from five different countries uh, were involved in different activities so they could get to know each other. One of them was a magical boat trip where it came out that music is their common language. Music historian Andras Bata and the musical editor of Virtuoso's Opor Such invited semi-finalists of the program to a guided tour on the Danube. Here we are on the Danube, and it has a symbolic meaning. This is the river that connects us, not to mention the iconic buildings on either side of the river, many of which are also important from a musical perspective. And now we'll see all of them. Over there you can see the royal castle. Inside there's a theater where even Beethoven himself performed. I will show you the first concert hall. It's called Vigado. I learned many new things today. For instance, I didn't know that the opening ceremony of Vigado featured the legend of Saint Elizabeth. 
How do you like Budapest so far? I love it. It's a beautiful city with stunning historical sites. My name is Vuku Kajovic. I'm 15, I'm from Belgrade, and I play classical guitar. The guitar has always fascinated me, even in my early childhood. Then I got faster. I caught up with the other children in my age group. I even grew better than them. And then I went to secondary school. My two passions are the guitar and the skateboard. It's risky because of the guitar, but I only do it in front of our house. Mostly with friends, I don't usually go to the park. It was incredible to hear that Nemanja would be among the judges. I have great respect for him. He's great. Book and I saw that you are really crazy on the skateboard, but now we're to, uh, we're focusing on what's going to happen on stage, and I'm sure it's going to be absolutely amazing. So you have a moment with your mom, and then go and break legs, <laughs> not fingers. <laughs> On stage, Vuk Vukailovic from Serbia. A lot of girls are in love with you now because they like guys with a guitar and with your hairstyle. Only if you only see half of the world. A personal question. I read about you that you love the music of Slipknot. It's a crazy band doing crazy music. Your parents must be desperate about you listening to that music. It's so aggressive and it's so wild. Uh, and, and you are such a sensitive guy. Tell me how that works together. I've been listening to Slipknot in particular since I was four. They introduced me to music in general, not only metal. They are my favorite band. 
when I heard them live in Budapest. It was an unbelievable concert. I think it was crazy. I got such an adrenaline boost that I literally couldn't sleep for two or three days after the concert. <laughs> I think so. Nemanja looks like a guy who would know Slipknot. You understand this? Of course that uh, I understand uh, because the, for me the music uh, has to express all kind of uh, emotion and um, we very often we only see one side of that music but uh, actually that music is full of energy and uh, I also listen to, yeah. to that music. I think this is important that that is it is possible to love classical music and modern music. Some people think it's either or, but that's not true, right? I think it's very possible because music is music. You know, we divide it in classical or pop, but the, the, I also like all sorts of kind of music. So I think it's perfectly normal. Erika? Vuk, I absolutely love you. Wow. Super, super. Such a young boy. My God, and with this deep emotion, feelings, good technique, and I would like to ask that, uh, Somebody at the backstage, didn't you say to you that your name is the uh, same as a Hungarian fairy tale person, animal, Vuk? It's a little, a little fox, little fox. Right? Little yeah. fox. And there is a very, <laughs> very uh, cute uh, a song for it. Fürgerók a lábak, surranók is árnyak, hip hop, jön Vuk. Hip hop uh, comes Vuk. You came, really. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Vuk. That was an interesting and beautiful performance. Thank you very much. Wow. I didn't know the story that the Hungarian judge mentioned, but I did find it very interesting. Okay, Vuk, we see you come up here, sit with us. Uh, I think the judges didn't even expect something like this. Um, and it felt like you and the guitar. Oh, what a surprise. Okay, hi. You were truly magical. You have let me and all of my colleagues enter into your own world. On the one hand, you have this young energy. And on the other, when you were playing the second part, it was a completely different story as if you had the experience of a 60-year-old, not a 15-year-old. Bravo! Nemanja, this was the mission of the competition. You can always surprise us like this, you know? We always come back. We can play together one day, if you want to. I can't believe it. It's great. Let's continue our show coming up now. A 12-year-old violin artist who won a special prize in the 2018 Virtuoso Show, although he is regarded by his teachers as an exceptional talent, he actually wants to become a cardiac surgeon, a doctor. Next up is Tio Gertle from Slovakia. My name is Teo Gerfur, I'm 12. I live in Bratislava, Slovakia. This is my hometown, and I'm happy to represent it. In my free time, I love riding my scooter. I use it every time to go to classes in Budapest or anywhere else. I love many different styles of playing. I often experiment with them. One of the reasons why I love the violin is the versatility of this instrument. On my mother's side, half of my family lives in Hungary. Therefore, this language is really close to me. In a way, he is a demanding child, but he also brings a lot of happiness into our lives. We are very proud of him doing what he really loves. On stage, Teo Gertler from Slovakia.
Hello, welcome in the show. What part do you prefer more, playing violin or talking to me now? Well, this is a tough question because both things are great, but playing the violin is probably slightly more enjoyable. Thank you very much. Aber es ist it's it's important that you are true today because these people will be true. Uh, there is one violin guy, but let's talk to the ladies first because I'm sure they are in love with you already. Erika? I saw you when uh, you were a little child, almost a little child, a few years ago. But now you are a man, really. <laughs> it was excellent. And uh, whatever you will be, a cardiac surgeon or viol violin player or, or uh, whatever, really, you will be perfect all the time. Alicia? Theo, what a joy watching you. My God, this was astonishing. You have such a charisma on the stage. So that was the easy part, that was the girls. But I tell you, no girl ever talked to me this way. This was excellent. Uh, Peter, I saw him looking at the conductor, so he did that right, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> Theo, you were really good indeed. Not only technically, but also emotionally and musically speaking. You have incredible expressive powers. It was a good choice, you impressed us all, and you made us all feel great. I wish you all the best, keep it up. Thank you. Finally, Thank the, you very the, much. the expert, Nemanja. Do you think he plays better violin than you? I saw him, he plays fantastic. Thank you, oh. That's, so you get <laughs> Thank you. 12 Thank points. You, what I really liked, one little moment, special moment, is when you play on the G string. You didn't play like every violinist, uh, each violinist with uh, a lot of uh, sound and, uh, and power. It was so uh, subtle and um, yeah, it had a special uh, meaning. Bravo. Thank you, thank you very much. I'm a little bit afraid of you. If you don't play violin, you are... <laughs> You love chemistry, you love math. Yes. Uh, I love chemistry, physics um, and maths. But I love chemistry the most, because the entire world is chemistry. I wouldn't be here without it. These things are really important in my life. You're a clever man. Thank you, Theo. I'm impressed. And the way he speaks is like an adult in the body of a child. Yeah, yeah. You know? No, he's, he's just, he's, he knows. But he has the child, but he has this, that, that child uh, uh, energy, the kind of like yeah, cheeky, almost cheeky, yeah. playful yeah. thing, which is great as well. He's genial. Yeah. Genial. Genius. Yeah, it really is genius, Jen. You can find more information about the show and the contestants on our website and Facebook page of Virtuosos, as you can see below. See you soon. Don't look. <laughs> <laughs>
My name is Ildiko Rozsanic, I'm 14, and I play the piano. I was four when I got a recorder from my parents as a present, so I started playing it. They took me to a recorder teacher who suggested to me that I should start playing the piano. So at five I started playing the piano and fell in love with it immediately. I thought that I would do it as long as I have the energy and I still have the energy. I like cycling because I enjoy speed. It's a great feeling to be able to just ride freely and it's also healthy. I practice a lot, sometimes as many as six hours a day. I'm also preparing mentally. I collect information about the background of the pieces on the internet and I can't wait to see the international contestants. On stage, Ildiko Rozonic from Hungary. I'm impressed. I played a little bit piano, but now I'm stopping. No more. I heard that you, in your free time, you write uh, science fiction stories. So what do you dream about if you think of the future? I really want to be a pianist and, of course, also a composer, a film score composer. I have composed many pieces already, and one of my dreams is to hear my own music in a Hollywood movie. 
or in any other movie. I'm impressed, but I'm always impressed if I see something like that. Gabriel, your grandfather wrote beautiful piano concertos, so you have an idea about what piano means. What do you think about this? I'm really astounded, actually. I think um, the sensitivity and the, the, the control that Ildiko had was, was marvelous, and such musicality. There was this sense of line through the music, at the same time, this technique, which is really what we, what we always dream of. So I'm, I'm really very impressed, really. She's a, a, already a virtuoso, we can say. Peter. First of all, I loved the beginning, before you started to play. The way you concentrated, you could, you could kind of feel that some music is going to be played. It was really, it's very important, I think. Actually, if you wouldn't mind, I would like to hear some of your music, uh, what you compose. Would you li like to play something? Oh, yes. <laughs> Sit down. It's all yours. Erica, huh? That didn't sound like someone composed by a 14-year-old. I think I never met a young girl who embodies such a fantastic mixture of so many great things. Fantasy, creativity, the piano and yourself, your personality and your humbleness. And yet you are also confident. I'm very proud of you. I wish you all the best. And I keep my fingers crossed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Today it's all about the jury. I have nothing to say. I can only say I loved your music and these people obviously are very much impressed. I've seen them before, but I, now I've seen them really touched by your music. It's great. Thank you. Bravo. I think I have managed to demonstrate my abilities and it was great that I only got positive feedback, which was a big confidence boost even afterwards. This was great. Bravo! Yeah, you can hug, you can hug. I don't even know if you are real. This was something so special what you showed on stage. And I cannot wait to see a beautiful Hollywood movie with your music. I will be so proud. And congratulations for today. It was absolutely amazing. Next is the one of the youngest contestants of all of them. Zarina Zaradna came from Poland to play the harp like an angel. My name is Zarina Zaradna. I'm nine years old. I'm from Poland and I play the harp. I picked this instrument because it is so beautiful. Beautiful instrument, beautiful sound. Two harps next to each other always remind me of the wings of angels. My mother and I usually pick my concert dress several weeks or sometimes several months before the event. I love all sorts of dance, but I like ballet best. I'm very happy that I had the chance to come here to dance and relax a little before the competition.
On stage, Zarina Zaradna from Poland. Zarina. Hello, hello, hello. What is his name? Uh, Pepec. Pepec? Pies Pepec. Pies Pepec. Yes. Do you have a real dog too? Yes. So, does he like uh, the harp music, your dog? Yes, he often sits down next to me and listens what I'm playing next to the sandbox. So, your dog likes your music. Let's talk to these people. Let's talk to Alicia. She's Polish too, so she can talk to you in your language. Zarinka, thank you for your performance. I truly hope your journey will lead you through the best concert halls of the world, so you can realize your ambitions and become a wonderful artist. Thank you for the emotional roller coaster. You gave us a complete range of emotions tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Gabriela? You know, I felt like uh, heaven sent us another angel. You've really... <laughs> but I was going to ask you, you, you are playing in nursing homes. Is that right? How long have you been doing it? When I was in second grade and I could perform these pieces well, I began performing in nursing homes. I loved it. It's lovely that you're doing it. Thank you for your performance. It sounded so easy because, especially with the harp, you think whoever touches the harp makes the same sound. I, <laughs> I, I show you what sounds it makes if I do it. Don't look, don't look. Oh, am I talented? Oh, magic. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, my darling. 
This was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Bravo. I'm very happy with my performance, the way I played this piece. I think the dog broke me good luck. Here is our wonderful Zarinka. Go hug your mother, our princess angel. Hi. You were amazing. Wow. I heard that you cannot only play music beautifully, but you are also a great dancer. Yes. Just like me, when did you start? When I was six. When you were six? I started it when I went to school. Just like me, do you have a favorite move? A ballet move or anything else? Do you have one? The splits? All right, let's do it. Wow, that's great. Bravo. Do you want me to do it too? High five. <laughs> Let's move on to our next contestant who will play a musical instrument that is not typically heard in classical music. Martin Schulz came from the Czech Republic with his accordion. My name is Martin Schulz. I'm from the Czech Republic, from Trebon. I'm 18 and I play the accordion. In music school, we had to choose an instrument after the first year, and I immediately picked the accordion, because it sounds really well with other instruments, and it has a beautiful sound. Hi. Fine. My family loves animals. We have several dogs at home, as well as a parrot, Alexander the Great. On stage, I'm only nervous before I sit down with my instrument. When I start playing, I suddenly feel relaxed and I only focus on my performance. On stage, Martin Schulz from the Czech Republic. Martin, come back here, sit down, I'm coming to you. So I'm, I'm very much surprised that all these people, they are used to pianos, to violins, to violoncellos, to all that classical stuff. Would yourself consider this a classical instrument with classical music? The accordion is a relatively young instrument. So it was not featured in the works of composers like Beethoven or Mozart. 
Mozart a chvíli, který by... Very, very complicated, I have to say. So, these, these, these guys were really applauding you uh, with some effort, so I'm interested in what you think about this performance. Martin, I'm proud to be a Czech citizen. First of all, you have great technique and you are very convincing as a performer. Your CV says that you play folk music in the conservatory. Would you be so kind as to play something for us? Of course. At least my colleagues will hear some of our folk music. Sure, but please excuse my singing voice. Oh, so you will sing too? Of course, there's no other way. Sure, that's great. Can I? I'm okay, yeah, of course, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. That's how I know. Praze uhání vlak. Něm krásná dívenka tak jede v města, aby užila, co na venkově chudá ztratila. Opičku těž se na řenko načpak, až půjdem za spry, budem se mačkat. Pepičku těž se na řenko načpak, až půjdem za spry, budem se mít. That makes good mood. And it was folklore. Bravo. It was, uh, it was really great to see uh, both, actually both pieces, uh, show to all of us once again why it's so important to play the music and to listen to the music because it gives the best joy that you can get. Okay. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The judges surprised me. I didn't expect them to ask me to play folk, because musicians don't usually do that in a classical music competition. So this was a bit of a surprise for me, but I was happy about their feedback. Just, I thought, you were talking about the dynamics, that's what I wanted to say. I mean, it just, it's so delicate to have the accordion. He's kind of picking his top yeah. At the beginning, before he starts, he vibrates the instrument so yeah. it kind of yeah. has something like the... Yeah, yeah, this energy going. Like that, yeah. that, it's incredible. I'm sure everybody's really proud of you and you have a big, uh, you know, group of fans everywhere. So congratulations, it was a magnificent performance. And now, from what I know, we're going to see a performer who is playing on an instrument that would likely fit um, into folk music, not into classical music. Let's see. My name is Aina Maros. I'm 13 and I live in a little town called Pothori near Zilina, Slovakia. My mother is Hungarian, she's from Budapest, and she's been talking to me in Hungarian since I was born. My father is Slovakian, he's from Zilina. They met in college in Nitra, where my mother studied Slovakian. I've been playing the recorder since I was five. I love this instrument, it has such a beautiful sound. I'm quite introverted. I don't enjoy talking so much, but when I'm playing music, I open up and I can express myself much more freely. I love painting mostly natural landscapes because nature is beautiful where we live. I mainly paint beautiful fields, but recently, when we went to the High Tatras, I painted the Kriva mountain. I have only performed in front of an international jury once, so I don't have a lot of experience, but I'm happy that there is an international jury here, and at the same time, I'm excited about the end results of the competition. On stage, Aina Maros from Slovakia.
Is she perfect? I think so. I think so. She was incredible. Wonderful. She prefers Baroque music to pop music. If I would have two tickets for Dua Lipa, for Billie Eilish, for whatever, and two tickets for a Baroque concerto, which one would you choose? I would definitely go with the Baroque concert. Baroque. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> Peter, you was clapping the loudest. Yes, uh, this was truly incredible. I know, the way you played, you had such lightness and musicality. Your face says everything there is to know about this music. You have enchanted us with your style and with the ease that I mentioned. It was beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Gabriela, we boast no girls in her age interested on uh, cell phones, <laughs> uh, Instagram, just looking good and doing selfies. <laughs> not her case. That's Definitely it. not. When we can she's tell. so different, but it's, it's beautiful to meet it a girl is. like this, right? It is. You know, I really appreciate uh, that you play with such a lightness and ease. That's what Peter said. It was wonderful, and I think you picked a really, really good music. It suits you really well. So, congratulations. Nice performance. Well, I think um, you really, really showed the, how the recorder can be an incredibly expressive instrument. You know, we, you can't play vibrato on a recorder, mm -hmm. yet you had phrasing that just made it sing and really moved us. I think it was really, really remarkable. And, and also you, you showed us what it is to be a virtuoso because there were some incredibly fast and, and difficult passages and I thought you were, you played them like a true virtuoso. So I, I really congratulate you. Yeah, you. it's it's so true what he says. I have a rec I play it every Christmas. It's it's so hard. Thank you very very much, and I hope I will see you again. Thank you. Bye bye. I was very happy and honored when Gabriel Prokofiev called me a virtuoso. I didn't expect this at all. Natural, yes, yes. Yes. absolutely yes. natural, yes. Very, very, yeah, very special. Yeah. And it's such yeah. a rare and thing to hear something like that. Yeah. yeah. Innocent, you read it like a pure soul. Pure you know, you soul. said it so mm. nicely. Are you aware of the fact that you have an angel at home? I must say we are really grateful to God that we have such a talented daughter. Because in this stressful world, music is the remedy of the soul. I really love it. And I wish all the other people in the world that they'd experience this magic. If you paint as well as you play, I have to buy this painting. So we will talk about this in a second, OK? So soon a fantastic 15-year-old young lady is going to sit at the piano. She has a different conception of the world around us because she would not be able to read any notes. But as we will see, she can feel the music. My name is Petra Spasojevic. I'm from a small Serbian town called Kursumlia. I have always loved the piano, even as a small child. Due to her blindness, Petra was attracted to toys that made a sound. She always played with toys with keys. When I'm touching the keys, I'm expressing my feelings through music. In my free time, I love composing, swimming, or taking walks with my parents. I love swimming because I enjoy being in water, it relaxes me. My favorite place in Serbia is the town of Davoja, and I hope I will find a place in Budapest too, where I will enjoy walking. Petra is very determined. The fact that she can't see doesn't hinder her from achieving her goals. I saw Virtuosos as an opportunity to take the next step towards my dream by performing in front of well-known musicians. On stage, Petra Spasojevic from Serbia.
Petra, to not be able to see and become such a fantastic performer, there must have been someone in your life helping you to become that good. Who was this? Of course, I have someone who always helps me. She's my piano teacher, Anna Ferlin. She's always by my side and she provides a lot of support. It's a pity that she can't be here with me now. So, Petra. I will tell you I'm so excited about what I just heard that I'm not even start to give you compliments because there are people who saw it and understood it. I just liked it, but Peter, you understood or did you understand what she did? Yes, it was it's very technically demanding piece and you managed brilliantly to, to have these chromatic scales. Even within the chromatic scales, you managed to do dynamics, which is extremely difficult. So I congratulate you for that, and I'm very happy that you could play here, and I wish you all the best, and congratulations once more. The dynamic within the chromatic, that's exactly what I'm missing. It was wonderful. Thank you for these beautiful moments. I want to say one more important thing, because I know you are from Novi Sad. My mother is also from Novi Sad. I had a special bond with her. And I can tell that you also have a special bond with your mom. I wish you all the best in your life. You must be so proud. Thank you. I'm happy that now I heard his voice. I can connect it to his music, which I can't stop listening to. Thank you very much. Yeah, he is a pretty guy, too. <laughs> yeah. Have you been happy with yourself tonight? I'm very happy with my performance. Of course, you can always say you could have done it better, but each performance is unique. Thank you very, very much, Petra. I'm helping you out of here. I love listening to people's opinions about what I do. It's a great feeling to know that some of them even like it. So I felt great by listening to all the positive feedback from the judges. This energy she had, and it was really powerful. The way she connected with the instrument, she had this kind of driving force behind her. I thought it was great. Petra, bravo! <laughs> this was such an amazing, astonishing performance. We were all here uh, rooting for you. It was just absolutely amazing. I am so proud of you. And your mom, too. Yeah, and she was very happy when she got rid, rid, got rid of me and had her mom back, so. <laughs> but I have to say, Thomas, that I missed you. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that you are here with us, all of the first semifinals. Team in our Hi wonderful guys. backstage. Hello. Hello. Now everybody is a little bit relaxed because they finished performing, but a little bit stressed out because we are before the most important moment of the show. Exactly. I have to say, I have met many young people in my career, and I'm so proud of what you did. So forget about what the jury says now, who is going on and who is going home. That doesn't matter. 
You go home as winners, all of you. Although every contestant is indeed a winner, only five of them can go on to the super final. The judges from each country will have to make the final decision together with the super judge. They can, of course, also consult one another. Well, what a journey we had just in this evening. There's been some talent tonight that I really couldn't have expected to experience. The level is so high of everyone. Exactly. That's the hardest point. I don't want to compare them because they are all different and it was very difficult to decide. This one is so cute. Yes. Very difficult to decide uh, <laughs> and to compare an apple and ananas. Our youngest. Our youngest. Yes. She was the youngest. Sorry. She had just this beautiful kind of pure connection with the music. I was really surprised by this high quality, this colorful scenography that great, great talents. To compare different instruments is mm. so different. Different repertoire, different style. The, yeah, the challenge. challenges of each Absolutely. instrument are completely yeah. different. I felt uh, blessed to be a part of this event, uh, of the first semi-final, because I could feel different uh, world of each competitor, and they were all so, so great. I obviously expected that this, this competition will bring on incredible talent, but it was totally beyond expectation. I was blown away, you know, and at the end of the day, it was a really hard decision to make. Thank you. I think this was a really great performance. We have reached the most exciting moment in the first semi-final of the Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus show. This is the announcement of the jury's decision. And here on stage, we have the main stars of the first semi-finals. <laughs> I would like to ask our super judge, Gabriel Prokofiev, how do you feel in general after this first semi-final? I feel incredibly inspired. I feel really, really honored and fortunate to have discovered these remarkable human beings, these young people who have got such incredible talent and, and so musical, every one of them. You know, these 10 people, they're very special and I think we've discovered some young geniuses tonight. And some of the pairings, some of the countries had two musicians of complete equal ability and so this has been very difficult, and I, I, I feel certain that all 10 musicians, even those who don't go to the next round, all of them will have an amazing career in music. So I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to following them all in the next two, three, four, five, ten 10 years and seeing how they all develop further. So this is the moment now. Neither Ida nor I know what's going to happen now. It's exciting for us anything. too. And I would like to ask Gabriel, to uh, tell us which of the contestants will advance to the final. Gabriel, first please let's, uh, let us know who of the two Polish contestants will move on. Together with Alicia, we had this very difficult decision, but for Poland, we've decided that the musician who will go through to the next round will be. It was sort of stress. Choosing one, it was very, very difficult. Zarina Zaradna. Thank you so much to Michał Kozin. Big congratulations. You're absolutely amazing. You know I love you. And now let's see who will make it to the final from the two Czech Republic contestants. So for the Czech Republic, um, together with Gabriela, we had a very, very difficult very decision. Difficult and finally we decided that the musician who will go through to the next final round will be. It was really hard to make the decision who will gonna go to the next round. Both very, very talented, really. And I was I was just honored that they are representing Czech Republic. I felt really proud. 
Martin Schulz. Thank you so much, Jan. Wow, this is exciting. Let's see who will make it to the final from the two Slovakian contestants. From Slovakia, Peter and myself, we had some serious discussion and finally we came to a decision that the musician who will go through to the next round will be. It was really hard and my heart was bleeding to decide between the two Slovakian co contestants. Aina Maros. And of course, big applause for Kel. Bravo. Bravo. Ooh, I can barely take this. I don't yeah. know. How about you, Thomas? Gabriel is such a nice guy, but those mean. No. Those little mean breaks he has, like. I know, that's the job, I understand that. Okay, so now let's see who will make it to the final from the two Serbian contestants. For Serbia, Nemanja and myself, we had also a really, really interesting and, and difficult decision to make. And the final decision we made for the musician that will go through to the next round was Actually, they gave me two completely different um, ways of uh, emotions. Petra, she gave me um, some tears. Vuk, he gave me a lot of smiling. The musician who goes through to the final is Vuk Vukajevic. Petra, you are amazing. Can I take your hand? Amazing, and we love you so much. I will take you back to your mom. Big, big bravo! Thank you so much. You're great. Thank you. So now it is about the last finalists, and I already can tell you it will be a girl. But. Who of the two contestants from Hungary will proceed? We don't know yet, but Gabriel knows. Well, for Hungary, again, we really we had two incredibly talented young women, and Erica and myself had a had a difficult discussion, but we finally we made a decision, and the musician that will go through to the next round. I love these two girls so much. Ella and Edith are now so close to my heart. I can barely image having to pick one of you. Ildiko Rojoni. And of course, big, big applause for Ella. You are amazing. Hello. Thank you so much. We congratulate Zarina Zaradna from Poland, Aina Maros from Slovakia, Martin Schulz from the Czech Republic, Vuk Vukalovic from Serbia, and Ildiko Rajonic from Hungary. It is now sure that you have made it to the final of Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus, and you are the future of classical music. Congratulations. That's all for today, and here are the first semifinals of the Virtuoso's new special season. In the second semifinal, we will meet another 10 contestants again. Five of them will advance to the final to make sure that by the end of the series, we will be able to announce one super winner for each of the participating countries. You can find more information about the show and the contestants on the website and Facebook page of Virtuosos, as you can see below. So 
We will hopefully see you next week. See you. <laughs> see you. <laughs> and here he is in person, Maxim Bengerov. Saxophone players always do this. <laughs> Why? Can you play a little bit for me and then I can dance with the dog? Sorry, I can't play dance music. <laughs> Can I get a selfie with you, or...? Of course. <laughs> I try to look like Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> Will they recognize your sound? That's very important. <laughs> Are you okay? But this guy was just, you know, full of joy, and, and, and that's the probably most touching part of it. Amira, you made me cry a lot.